Hello, I'm Paul Beckwith, and uh, this is uh, Shackleton the Explorer. For many years, I've actually made the comparison of Trump to uh, people like Adolf Hitler. You know, a lot of people, um, you know, this is a very alarming statement, so a lot of people um, actually... Um, you know, tell me, well, of course, Hitler was much worse, et cetera, et cetera. And we get into these long arguments and discussions about, you know, existential issues like abrupt climate change. And uh, just uh, recently, The Independent published an article where they discussed uh, Noam Chomsky and what his views are on the Trump administration and this election coming up and uh, also on climate change and I agree completely and have said what Chomsky is is saying in this article so I'm going to discuss it one of the quotes from Chomsky is that definitely Hitler talking about Hitler definitely the worst one I can think of in history Adolf Hitler was pretty hideous but he wasn't trying to destroy organized human society on earth okay that's what Chomsky said and I'll just scroll down here okay so some other quotes from Chomsky the facts are pretty straight there is almost universal consensus among serious scientists that we are racing towards the cataclysm if current tendencies persist okay um, he also says in the article that by the end of this century you might have reached the level three, maybe four degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels in temperature. And every analysis concludes that that's a total cataclysm. Organized human societies, you know, nothing survives, Chomsky. And then he says, you know, when he compares uh, uh, Trump to Hitler, he says that challenged on this, with the fact that the Nazi Holocaust killed at least six million Jewish people, Chomsky, his, his, parent, his own parents uh, were Jewish, he says that Hitler also killed 30 million Slavs, but not human civilization. Okay, now, of course, you know, Trump does everything possible to win elections. He's not trying to wipe out the Jewish race or anything like that. But he has such power, and what he says has switched such sway among people that, you know, it, he's, he's basically bringing the planet down. There's a lot more people on the planet than, you know, 6 million or 30 million people in Europe. There's the entire human civilization. Um, and he's accelerating the U.S. to doing everything, to breaking up international treaties, to doing everything to to destroy our attempts, our feeble attempts to, to deal with abrupt climate change. So, you know, I always argue that we're, you know, we're, we're um, I agree with Chomsky, and I've been saying these exact things for many years. It's why I study climate. We are only 1.1 Celsius above the 1880 to 1910 average, but you know, you need to add 0.3 on that to get relative to 1750. So we're 1 1.5, approaching 1, 1 1.4 degrees Celsius, approaching 1.5 above 1750, which was the, which is with the original <coughs> definition of pre-industrial. And we are already experiencing weather extremes, loss of the Arctic sea ice. It's not reforming properly this year. I'll do a whole separate video on that and looming global food shortages. We're already seeing food, food uh, yields dropping in the UK significantly, also in the US. I mean, this, this, look at the yields this year, for example. So we face civilization collapse. We face global food shortages. We face more frequent pandemics like coronavirus due to the loss of global biodiversity and the destruction of, of natural habitats to, to, to do farming or build cities or, or you know, just the, the destruction, the logging, the, the, uh, the destruction of forest areas and natural areas around the planet. Um, 
and of course biodiversity and we know about the insect collapse we're also seeing collapsing political systems you know uh, fascism and lies climate destabilization is the fundamental root cause of all this accelerating chaos okay that's what i say and then there was a uh, somebody contested say that's giving Trump way too much credit it's humans everywhere who are destroying the planet no matter what Trump does humans all over the globe will not stop their destructive ways yes there's a point there but Trump is, has huge immense power and he sets the course of US policy and uh, he's a climate denier and he says it'll cool down soon like, like he's in his position of power uh, I would argue it's not giving him too much credit. He's the president of the U.S. And there's an, an election coming up. And if he has power for another four years, it's like throw up your hands to the planet. It's might, you might as well like it's 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 uh, anyway. Let, so let me look at the at the uh, article in more detail from the Independent. OK, so if you don't follow me on Twitter, please do so. This is uh, I pinned this tweet and all of my comments and I've also posted it on Facebook of course um, okay on on Facebook for for more discussion and this is the article in question so Trump's poses greater threat to humanity than Hitler says Noam Chomsky Trump's denial of climate change represents a worse threat to humanity than Hitler Okay, I'm not sure why the subtitle says the same thing as the title. Okay, so he's not in the mood for holding back. Not many people that study and know about abrupt climate change and the threats it poses us, to us are holding back. You know, we're getting more and more scientists to talk about this, to write articles about this. And, you know, until we actually get change, uh, we can't have too many. Okay, um, so, you know, we're approaching this vital U.S. election. Um, both sides are saying that it's existential. You know, the Republicans and Trump, because they want to hold on to power and get all their right-wing policies in, pay, in place and, uh, you know, uh, maintain power. And, uh, you know, the, the Democrats and the progressives saying that our planet is going to you know, our life on our planet is essentially going to, to vanish. You know, we're hurling to this environmental catastrophe from, from climate change. I mean, one side is based on, on noble uh, goals to try to stop, uh, you know, try to address and deal with the abrupt climate change. And the other side is just, it's just a power. Um, it's, it's just, anyway, it's, it's a haven of lies and, uh, you know, just extreme idealism. So, you know, it's not surprising that uh, Chomsky has dark words about Donald Trump and the Republican Party. Now, it is true that the Republican Party and Trump are the, the, is the world's only large conservative political grouping that denies the existence of climate change. Okay, um, so there is, uh, you know, Chomsky has a new book, talking about the urgency of the crisis and the means to transition to a non-fossil fuel economy as part of the so-called global Green New Deal, which I'm sure most people have heard of, the Green New Deal. You know, and there's patterns, several patterns uh, Chomsky talks about. There's numerous, but one is that he, he, he tears up these deals that he had no part in creating, like the 2015 Paris Accord to try to limit the planet's warming, um, which Obama helped to broker anything Obama did Trump has tried to dismantle and destroy and he's been very successful at that there's no question um, okay so he didn't create these things but he's destroying them and when and when something is destroyed it takes a lot longer to build up again things can be destroyed overnight and it takes years and years and years to build up and this is a problem when you destroy the things that we absolutely need you're basically bringing down um, the, the planet. So Chomsky made this highly controversial, it is highly controversial, the comparison between Trump and Hitler. It's been strongly rebutted by experts on the Holocaust that, that say that such a suggestion is wrong and offensive. Okay, um, the heating, our heating planet, 
and then the abrupt climate change, it's unprecedented in human, human history. And, okay, the facts are pretty straight. There's almost universal consensus among serious scientists that we're racing towards a cataclysm if current tendencies persist. By the end of the century, you might have the level three, maybe four degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. And every analysis concludes that's a total cataclysm. Organized human societies, nothing survives. Now, Mark Linus several years ago wrote a book about six degrees, what would happen to his, his view of how, cli how climate would pay, play out for you know, one degree, two degrees, etc. And this is his, his latest book, Our Final Warning, Six Degrees of Climate Emergency. I haven't read it, I just picked it up. Okay, so um, I, you know, I bet, I'm sure if it's anything like his last book, then it's, it's well worth uh, reading. Okay, but any, every analysis concludes that if, we, if our temperature, global average temperature rises at three, four degrees, that it's so game over for organized human societies. First point, okay, so we're moving towards cataclysm. There's one country in the world, the US, which wants to put its foot on the accelerator. It makes me really wonder about the evangelicals in the US. Um, it's almost like they welcome the destruction of the planet Earth. They welcome the destruction of society. They think that the, you know, a lot of them will be raptured up to, and you know, how you have those people in charge of the most powerful country on the planet. You know, it's, it's just, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of mind boggling. But it's, like, it's almost like they're cheering for it. They, they want it to happen as soon as possible, the destruction of, of the earth. Asked about the specific role played by the president and the Republican Party. Um, for example, he says the global coronavirus pandemic, which has so far killed more than 1 million people and infected more than uh, 43 million, can be tackled, but not with malignant cancer in charge of the policy. Someone who moves to destroy everything that doesn't improve his electoral chances. Um, and if you want the latest on the coronavirus numbers as of today, global cases 45.7 million, 230,000 deaths almost in the U.S., 1.2 million almost globally. And this is the John Hopkins uh, coronavirus uh, map. Okay, so talking about Hitler, definitely Hitler was the worst one Chomsky or many of us really can think of in history. Hitler was pretty hideous, but he wasn't trying to destroy organized human society on earth. And this is exactly what Trump is trying to do. So challenged on this comparison to Hitler um, is the fact that the Nazi Holocaust killed at least six million Jewish people. Chomsky, his parents were Jewish, okay? You guys got Jewish parents. It was six million Jews you killed in the Holocaust. He says Hitler killed 30 million Slavs, but not human civilization. Okay, asked directly if he was saying Trump 73 was worse than Hitler, Chomsky says that's a very outrageous statement, and it is. And every time he says it, he prefaces it by saying, here's an outrageous statement, but please ask yourself whether it's true. Ask yourself whether it's true. How do you say somebody is worse than somebody else? If you're re relating it in you know, to millions of people killed in Europe, or, you know, half the planet, or all of the planet, you know, not just humans, but all life on the, you know, all anim plants and animals on the planet, not all life, I don't think, some do, okay, so, you know, it's, there, there's no comparison, right, this will be proven true in a number of years when we continue on. And then there's an interesting, in the 2018 statement by the Republican National Highway Safety Commission, they said that global temperatures would rise by 4% by the end of the century, so it's not a problem. And first of all, I mean, where does that 4% come in? Like, even that's ridiculous. 15 degrees Celsius is 288K, 4% of 288K is 11.52K, so that would be 11.5 Celsius. A rise by 4% in global temperatures would be a rise of 11.5 Celsius, right? Now, I'm not sure that's not what they meant, that 4%, you know, what else does it mean? You have to relate it to temperature and degrees Kelvin. So anyway, the, you know, the book goes like, like it's basically, you know, you can, I mean, we're seeing the cataclysms, the fires, everything else. It's, 
you know, Trump is horrible for the planet. 